Hello everybody, my name is Promise and welcome back to more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. I'm gonna try a scenario that I expect to be a little bit funny and also very short, uh, possibly. It's a scenario that has been working its way at the popular tab for a while, along with a couple others that are extremely similar in theme, and yet somehow people keep subscribing to it and upvoting it. So we're gonna give it a go. It's called Screw Greenland by Kitazawa Hagumi. Greenland bad, he dead. No, seriously, it's gone. Don't even think of starting your plague there, you lose in an instant. This is my first scenario out of pure boredom and probably not original as well, because I'm sure people have done this idea before, and they definitely have. And I'm definitely not doing this so I can get an achievement, because at least I put some effort into it. So yeah, have fun, use any plague you want. It's literally the basic game, but there's no Greenland. Now I'll just say, that is not entirely true. Because I actually tried recording this a little bit ago as the simian flu and I found out that you actually can't use any of your ape abilities. No camps, no travel, no nothing. So it's the base game minus Greenland also breaking some things like the simian flu apparently. Either that or the game itself was bugged in some way. I don't really know. Uh, let's go ahead and play with a fungus. We don't get to play with the fungus all that often I suppose. Metabolic jump, genetic mimic, terracytic, human fall, and pathostasis. Greenland is the name. Where's Greenland? Greenland who? Greenland where? This is basically your same main game of Plague Inc, but Greenland is dead, gone, extinct, killed. Don't even worry about it. Even the apes, zombies, and vampires don't have any benefits there. <laughs> yep, seriously, no one's there unless you want to have a world record for fastest lose in Plague Inc, custom scenario, any percent glitchless, not clickbait, devs give me free Ferrari for the win, nearly died, gone sexual, not clickbait. That's actually pretty funny. You know, there's a lot of scenarios that are like this on the Steam Workshop, specifically centered around Greenland, because at this point it's practically a meme. Gotta say, though, I appreciate a little bit of tongue-in-cheek humor from the author. That's certainly unexpected. Heck, Greenland definitely doesn't even have a port. There's no way of getting in there regardless. Well, that's fun. Let's start in Brazil. I never start in Brazil. Brazil should be good, right? Yeah, okay. So wait, is there literally not a single person in Greenland? I'm assuming that there's not, because that would just make the most sense. Yep, nobody. Not a single person lives in the Greenland. I feel bad for the people who live in Greenland, because the entire Plague Inc. community basically is united around hating you. <laughs> it's not their fault that it's such a great place to hide from pandemics. Heck, when COVID was coming out, my first joke to my wife was, maybe we need to move to Greenland. Anyway, let's go for the uh, rash, then we'll move on to things like the sweating and also the skin lesions, because just generally speaking, they're good. I would like to get myself a reasonable amount of severity, and then we can go for all the spore bursts and just roll in all the DNA, because it's an OP strat. OP as heck. So, fun news, uh, a little bit unrelated to this scenario. Plague Inc. has announced that the cure uh, is coming out in early 2021. Now, I was expecting it to come out before Christmas. I think that had been the original intent, and I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed it's not coming out sooner because, I mean, that obviously would have been great for me. You know, we're going to the Christmas season, ad revenue actually matters this month, and it's gonna be terrible starting in uh, Q Q uh, Q1 next year. So it would have been really cool, but oh well. Um, and also, you know, just generally speaking, I've been itching to play it, and I, I just, I refuse to download a mobile game and putting it on the channel. So, uh, a little disappointed to find out that it's not coming out right away, but on the plus side, at least we have some sense of when it's coming out. That is to say, anywhere from January to March in 2021. So there we go. So, uh, what this does mean is this is probably the last scenario I'm gonna do for Plague Inc. for at least a little while. And I'm gonna start branching out to some other content, unless somebody comes up with a really good scenario and sends it my way. I mean, we're talking like Indigo Phoenix levels of awesomeness. By the way, where is Indigo Phoenix? I miss him. He used to some real dang good scenarios back in the day. But anyway, yeah, so we'll take a break from Plague Inc. We'll start doing some of the content. I mostly was starting this back up. Someplace unknown is falling to anarchy. I mostly was starting this back up in preparation for the cure, and it turns out I got a little ahead of myself. Just a little bit ahead of myself. All right, I'm dying for points, so we're going to go ahead and start using some spore bursts since the fungus does have trouble spreading outside of that. Let's go ahead and start spreading, try to get some of that DNA in. Then we're going to go for a bit of coughing. I'd like to possibly get the sneezing, but we're having a bit of a delay, so let's go for another burst. All right, Finland's a little early there. Fine, let's go for another one. What do we get this time? We get, oh, Central America, how exciting. Uh, let's see, yeah, we'll get that sneezing going. Still not nearly as much severity as I thought I expected by now. Skin lesions usually has a lot, right? Apparently I'm misremembering though, it's not nearly as infective as I thought. Why are we still not spreading very much? Jeez, dude. All right, guess, I guess we're just gonna have to go for some more of these spore bursts. You know what I really need is to get like some water or air transmission. Let's go for some water and try to get the heck out of Brazil. Because we, oh, ships weren't even allowed to be infected. I missed the sterilization thing. Well, there you go then. So we gotta get the heck out of Brazil because we're not spreading very well naturally right now. So there's another spore burst there. Let's go for a huge pop right here. 
There we go. Hoping to get a little bit more spread out than that, but okay, at least it is something. Let's go for some air transmission and also some birds. Like, literally, get me anywhere outside of this. Greenland, uh, sorry, Brazil is not a very good place to start. This is a general rule. But on the plus side, I never have to worry about Greenland. On the downside, as the fungus, I pretty much never had to worry about Greenland to begin with, because, well, spore bursts are still pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to get? Do we want to get pneumonia? Eh, I think we could go for maybe the cysts, and then maybe the hypersensitivity would be nice. Oh, we got into Australia. Very good. All right, we'll go ahead and pick some of that up. We need to get ourselves some drug resistance. We need to play the game kind of like normal at this point. A little bit. Could use some cold resistance too. We're having a little trouble on that front, so let's go ahead and pop one of those. Spread a little faster in places like the Finland. There we go. Now we're starting to make some ground. Finally. Gosh. Yeah, this is a slow start. This is a really slow start. It's going to cost me in the score. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I really would love to see the modding community come back a bit more for Play Gang. I do feel like it's been kind of dropping off a little bit. And that makes some sense. You know, as the game gets older, of course, it's going to be losing at least a little bit of steam. That's kind of normal. But there was a time when I got so many requests. And then I had to turn off my DM DMs on Discord. Because I just straight up was getting way too many people trying to talk to me. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit harder to know uh, what scenarios are out there that are any good. So I kind of miss that interactivity, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't think that necessarily changes anything. I can't really afford to turn my DMs back on. But, you know, I feel like since I had to turn that off, there really hasn't been quite as much movement or creativity in the Plague Inc. scenario, uh, scene, I should say, as there used to be. So I miss it, is what I'm trying to say. So if y'all want to get back out there and start creating some more scenarios, like, please do so. And find a way to get a hold of me on the Discord server, you know, sometime I'm online or maybe post in the suggestions and actually let me know, because a really fun scenario by the community, like, that's just, that just makes my week. I enjoy seeing the creativity you guys come up with. All right, are we in every country? No, we're missing the Caribbean and Iceland? Ugh. Not exactly thrilled to see that Iceland's giving me some issues, but let's go ahead and get in there and also grab the Caribbean real quick. Did we not? All righty, I think we popped it too fast and it didn't actually go anywhere. Let's try this one again. There we go. All right, now we're in the Caribbean. Perfect. Let's go for some just raw infectivity there. Uh, we probably should go for necrosis. Of course, I need a lot more DNA to pull that one off. We don't have a whole lot of DNA to work with since we've actually kind of infected every country. So now we have to sort of sit back and wait for points to naturally generate or for a bit of mutation. Which makes me think that I've actually sort of messed this one up a little bit. We could really use some more lethality. Internal hemorrhaging would help, but it would also cost me an absolute ton of my points. I really want the necrosis. But you know what? Since we already have kill, uh, sorry, infected the entire world, we don't really need to worry about the corpse transmission. So I'm just going to go for a bit more raw lethality in the form of internal hemorrhaging. Try to get some people killed so we can actually generate some DNA so stuff actually, you know, starts to matter again. No one's actually working on the cure yet. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. It's active... But no one's curing. Okay, so we found another bug. Not only does the simian flu broken in this particular scenario, which is supposed to be the vanilla-based game, not changed at all, but apparently also the entire world forgot how to cure things. So that's fun. Um, sure. Well, yeah, this scenario. You know, somehow I kind of expected this to be an extremely fast and, you know, relatively boring scenario, and somehow I found a way to break it. Or, it was already broken, I just discovered it, and now I'm spotlighting it, which is hilarious. I'm trying to get a little bit more lethality at this point, because for some reason, it is just so, so stinking slow. Gosh, we are making, like, no DNA. Look at all these people dying, and I'm getting practically nothing. What is going on with this scenario? God, it's going to take for freaking ever. Heavy flooding in Russia? Oh, good. Yeah, that sucks. Great. Can any... Gosh, what, did it turn out that Greenland was, like... The yin to the world's yang that, like, maintained the balance or something? Like, losing Greenland apparently is resulting in an extremely slow scenario. I don't even know how this is possible. But somehow it is. Okay, well, cool. Um, 10 DNA. Is there anything to do with it? Not really, no. Because the only thing that matters at this point is lethality. Why are we getting so little DNA? For real, I'm a little confused as to how this is happening. You're supposed to get DNA as you kill people. We got enough severity and enough lethality that we should be getting something, but we're getting nothing. The world doesn't know how to cure anything. Wow, I, I don't know. I'm confused. Anyways, you who. So, yeah, what I was saying there is just send me more scenarios if you want to continue seeing more Plague Inc. on the channel. I do consider it to be a staple, and it is something that a lot of people continue to tune in for because this is their favorite series. This is how they found the channel. Oh, there's the DNA. Finally found something there. Let's go for, um, let's go for a bit of fever, I guess. And I want to continue playing it, but you guys are the source of my content, you know? I can only make so much witty banter. 
And even that, it's not even that witty. I'm not even that good at it. You guys just have to give me enough fodder that I can either poke fun at or just go, Wow, that's so cool! Again and again and again. Yeah? So, I guess what I'm asking for is, can you all give me some content? <laughs> aside from... Aside from Screw Greenland? All right, I really can't waffle on anymore. Uh, let's just go ahead and zoom forward a little bit. Oh my god, that still took for freaking ever. I don't know what happened with this scenario. I swear some numbers are tweaked or something. Something's messed up. 1,300 days? Gosh, I can't remember the last time I had a scenario that took 1,300 days. That's ridiculous. I feel like a scrub. 0% cure progress, because that's normal. 20,481 points and only one star. Yeah, we're not watching the replay of this. That's going to take way too long. Um, no, I actually wouldn't recommend it only because I actually think it's busted. Not just because it's an unoriginal concept, though I do think that the author did a pretty decent job of being at least a little bit amusing in the two pop-ups you get, but uh, if it actually doesn't work and deliver on the one thing it's supposed to be, which is a vanilla scenario minus Greenland, then that's kind of a no in my book, so there we go. All right. Well, thank you all very much for watching this scenario. I hope that you did enjoy. If you've got more that you want to send my way, please do so. I would happily check out some of the best you guys can come up with. Uh, in the meantime, though, we'll move on to some other content and revisit this a little bit closer to the beginning of 2021. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see that future content, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>